I have two simple goals, to get a billion sugar and to sell it to the most luxurious customer, the spaceman. A hundred thousand people are competing to be his supplier and I will beat all of them. Is what I would have said if I hadn't become a peaceful monk with no desires. Everyone else is racing to complete the new update. I am going to enjoy it. Is what they think I'm doing. For the past six months, I, Dragoon, have made balloons videos so people think I'm done with Skyblock. But secretly, I've been preparing this whole time to finally be the first to complete an update. But actually, I'm Dratoon. Dratoon swears. So I logged into Hypixel on update day, and the final thought I was an alien species trying to invade from 3 million light years away. But actually, I'm just from Australia. I got onto my island, and there was a stranger who named themselves Sam. You're too old to be naming yourself now. Sam took me to a mysterious island with three people staring at me. They asked me how much sugar I've eaten. I told them I've played League of Legends before, and they understood. Sam says this is a garden to grow my crops, but to get started, I must fetch her 25 wheat. Luckily, I always carry 25 wheat on me in case a horse has a hint to the Kudra mandible. She brought us to the composter and threatened to push us through it Kingsman style. Unless I do one thing for her. I rap alphabet aerobics. And then it all became clear to me. Stranger. Sam. Zebra. This African zebra has commented on every one of my videos for the past seven months for me to release a full version of the alphabet rap. Every day I refuse. And I will never, ever, never, not even once, not ever. It's what you thought. Hit it! Artificial amateurs on it Oh, I think the connection messed up a little. I hope it recorded properly. Anyway, now we need a hundred wheat to compost. I don't carry that much with me. But I don't have to farm it. I can use the labor of others for my gain because I have more money than them. This is called community. I don't know how to spell. Now I have to wait eight seconds for it to compost. Really wish I could speed this up with gems. My addiction is returning. But actually, this is a cock video. Oh, it's done. I used the compost to fertilize this plot of land. Now I have to clean it before I can farm on it, which means removing the flowers from the garden and replacing it with industrial equipment. Maybe Hypixel also doesn't know how to spell because they spell garden like this. I should explain the sugar in Spaceman. You can sell your farming goods to customers. The rarest and most imperious customer is the Spaceman. Sugarcane is the fastest way to get new customers, so I'm farming it until the Spaceman shows his face in my Michelin restaurant. The reward for satisfying him is the rarest helmet in the game and a free trip to space, but it's a one-way ticket. To bake us some bread, I think I need about a hundred wheat. Your calculations are a bit off. Do I remember how to count? One, two, one hundred, one billion. That makes my goal a lot easier. Sabra shows me the shop where we sell our goods to our lovely customers. Who is first up? Oh no, he's found me at last. So I'll be making a brand new account and killing Jerry as fast as possible. Place the water where Jerry is standing, swiftly sweeping him into the abyss. What do you want as revenge for my transgressions? He wants five bread. I trapped you in an eternal loop of death. To be fair, with this game's counting, five bread could be a very large number. I gave him the bread and got garden XP. The higher garden level I am, the more extravagant customers I get. The spaceman only visits level 15 gardens. Then Lynn arrived, but she didn't want bread. She wants 10 enchanted carrots. Uh, I can get them, but I don't have them. My only options are accept or refuse. And if I refuse, she leaves, but I don't have the carrots. Damn it, a customer gone. Do I have to guess what they want beforehand? I'll ask the wizard later how to read people's minds. For now, for the first time in this video, I'm going to do what it's supposed to be about. Farming. I'm going going to farm. So much farming. I love farming. But actually, cock is better. So I'm going to email them to ask them to sponsor me so I can just play that instead. A new customer arrives every 15 minutes, but this time is reduced by farming crops. The bartender is here to serve us drinks that most players can't drink. Alright, what is he gonna want? I think you're the type of person who, uh, I, I got this. You want any two. Any two of these things. What the fuck? I have to guess? I have to prepare every single option just in case he wants that. I have what I thought, but I'm a bumbling moron. There's a close option. I can just close the menu and he stays. I feel like a fool. I can now just buy the potatoes and hay bales for him. We have learned an important lesson here. Don't buy from this bartender. He puts hay bales in his drinks. The composter has eaten enough versions of Dragoon that refused to wrap for me to fertilize another plot of land. And I'm a high enough garden level to plant sugarcane. The true plan is only just beginning. No one panic. I was farming wheat and now I'm part of a contest of some kind. This is like 
like driving to work and accidentally turning onto a racetrack and now you're drifting against Formula 1's and a Toyota Sprinter. I'm currently in bronze and only one behind silver. I can win this. Whatever this is. Whatever the prizes are. Okay, I'm a bit behind. I can activate my gamer music to go faster. I'm not even competitive. I'm a peaceful monk man. It's what you thought. But I will construct a sugarcane farm beyond the imagination of the gods and I will win the true competition. In a bit. I I'll do it later. I'm done with wheat. I farmed sugarcane, then realized I shouldn't have farmed the bottom stem. I just assumed it automatically grew back in this magical farm. I was wrong. I've destroyed my farm. Hey, I still got bronze in the contest. That isn't third place, it's top 60%. Which reminded me of a way I can get gold in the sugarcane contest. But first, I need more customers. Higher status ones. What if the royal resident was here? What if they left a review? Wait, I haven't unlocked the royal resident? But I talked to them for hours! I've been watching a sheep count for six hours! Do not make me do that again. I'm tracking that sheep down and demanding answers. There, what do you have to say for yourself? Nothing. Oh, there are three royal residents. The sheep I just need a higher level for. I'm not gonna try talking to the other two. So I started farming sugarcane properly, approaching my one billion goal. And there's already a new customer. You seem new here. This shop was built 40 minutes ago. Everyone's new here. You're new here. And you expect me to give you 5,000 potatoes? You're lucky I need 75 unique visitors for the spaceman to arrive. Don't you hate it when you have 37,951 potatoes in your back pocket and you can't get them all out? It took me 10 10 minutes to get them out. Why did I ever quit Hypixel? It's so much fun. A rare customer, Rusty. He sells back items that you accidentally drop. A lifesaver. Ever wondered how I find all those things that players lost? I outsource it. Oh, he buys them from people's gardens. He really understands gardening. I'm complicit in the system now. I feel terrible. Garden level up? I feel fantastic! Is what you thought! But really, I feel the longing for spending gems. An addiction never really goes away. Anyway, the visitors reward me with copper for every trade, which I can use to buy farming fortune, increasing my sugarcane drops by 5%. Why does copper do that? The same reason my microwave keeps beeping at me. I don't know. Someone help me. Anita, I need a hoe. Crafting is difficult in Space Australia. This hoe is specifically crafted for farming excess sugarcane. Using this gives thousands more sugar. How does it work? The same way birds can fly. Nobody knows. Probably magic. What do you think you're doing here? You seem new here. It's been seven minutes since your last visit. Do you have short-term memory loss? Gwen likes chocolate, so I gave her cocoa beans. I suppose she's going to do the 10 days of prep and 12 hours of grinding to make it into chocolate? She's really against gardening. Good for her. I went into the Hexatorum to enhance my sugar hoe with magical abilities. If you throw knowledge at a hoe, it gets better at finding sugar. How does this really work? Well, it's the same way I lost my 8th grade talent contest. Absolute bullshit. Hi, Terry. What are you after? Terry can't taste ice cream. Terry, you have COVID. It's fine. We don't tell the government the things we have either. Sure, you can have 8,000 melons. We don't ask questions here. It's almost time for the contest. I'm cleaning a third plot for more sugarcane. I'd like to thank Dratoon, Dratroon, Drafawn, Drafoon, Draxoon, Delta Miko for creating a system for pronouncing all the dragoons. Oh, it's starting. Come on. Did you know scientists are trying to use sugar as car fuel? But scientists also named this the Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. We don't trust scientists on this channel. We just laugh at them. All right, I'm starting in bronze, but I can still catch up. Oh, I'm, I'm out of bronze. I am below bronze. I'm back in bronze and 11,000 behind silver. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I'm winning. Silver has doubled me. I give up. You don't give up. Of course, I, I will win, just not yet. I need to prepare better. And then the strangest thing of all, I couldn't use my community to solve all my problems. I had to do some work myself. Reese wants 512 jack-o'-lanterns. That's not viable. I have to craft in Minecraft. I just, I can't, it's too much. Wait, I can still buy the pumpkins instead of farming them. I can buy sticks instead of chopping trees. Buy coal instead of mining. Forget how to make torches instead of Googling it. Smart craft jack-o'-lanterns so I don't have to drag the items. Yeah, I think I did a lot of hard work there. I deserve a reward. I'm taking a vacation. I'm on break. I can't make content during my vacation. Travel vlog, bitches! Okay, I'm relaxed. Have your jack o -lantern. I have to unlock all the customers to get the spaceman. And I haven't unlocked Farmer John. How is that possible? He's right here. Nope, that's a regular farmer. He's in the bar- No. You'd think I would know where the farming NPCs are. I spent two months here looking for a ball. Here he is. I've definitely talked to you before. I used to compete in sugarcane contests. Wait, can you give me a hint? I want to win the contests. You have to never give up. Never let yourself down. Stay 
perfectly still and don't leave. Wait, did you just- You motherfu- Apparently I don't have Beth unlocked either. You'd think I'd know where all the farming NPCs were. I spent 57 years here looking for the golden ball because time travel was involved. Okay, who's next? The wi- The- Talk to the wizard! Look at me! Look at me very closely! Look into my soul underneath my face! I am Barry! Barry, the personal assistant to the wizard. I've made multiple videos centered around the wizard. I waterboarded the wizard and was sent to jail for three years. I have talked to the wizard. This whole game has short-term memory loss. Hey wizard, when's the portal open? Oh, when I released the full alphabet aerobics video? Very cool. This is it. I've set my boots to the perfect walking speed. I've upgraded my hoe. I've prayed to God, Rick Astley, and Morgan. I'm in bronze again, but never give up. I can still do this. I just have to keep going. I may be 13,000 behind, but now I'm 12,000 behind. Now I'm 14,000 behind, damn it. But now I'm 10,000 behind and catching up. You see, after long enough, people start giving up, giving me time to catch up. And I got silver with half as many crops as gold, which means we are now at the choose your own adventure portion of the video. You get to decide the rest of this video with brand new technology. Option one, I tell you how a mysterious YouTuber tried to take my sugarcane throne and my life. Option two, you thought you got a choice? But even that was a plot twist. You see, I was getting more efficient at farming, attracting higher level customers almost at the spaceman. But then something caught my attention. A YouTuber trying to take me down. I told you I was making balloons videos to distract from Skyblock. The problem is, I got too good at balloons. Balloon is the most popular word ending in oon, so I have a natural hatred for them. This fueled me from the worst balloons player to the number one player in only a few months. I stole all the views. I created the most popular challenge in the game. There was a worldwide event where everyone put up posters. If you don't remember that, you have dementia. Anyway, this angered a five-year-old balloons tuber. I wasn't scared until I saw he has a video on emoji philosophy. He has studied my weakness, and today he released a video on Hypixel. He's trying to steal my audience. I need to distract him, so I'll beat the hardest boss in balloons to make him go back to defend his title. This is still a Minecraft video, I promise. A Skyblock Hypixel Minecraft block game video. So this balloons boss is a normal boss. Is what you thought! 50% health, 35,000 starting cash on round 37. Should mean farming is super simple. We have farms to grow money, an engineer to print money, and an alchemist to magically invent money. This game is even more focused on gardening than Skyblock. But I was so focused on money that the balloons got past. Is this a lesson that greed leads to unfulfillment? Or does it mean that I just need more money to solve my problems? Vote in the comments below. For the boss, the most effective strategy is eight tax shooters, proving diversity in the workplace is overrated. Start the boss, the engineer trap goes down, sell him, upgrade the last tax shooters, uncover the final bomb, hack into the mainframe, post false allegations about your rival on Twitter to distract him, and beat the boss in 41 seconds. Then I bought a farm that takes up the same amount of space but gets more bananas. How is that possible? Well, it makes sense in the same way you know I've done a triple backflip. Just trust me. The next 10 rounds, I bought farms and randomly placed two traps around the map until it worked. This really shows trial and error is the superior method of learning. The scientific method needs to be thrown away. We can't go around calling things the monkey, 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 monkey. Damn it, I leaked one red. I'm gonna have a penalty. I'll lose my sugarcane throne. I'll lose my channel. It's over. Unless Morgan came back to save me. He wants me to leave balloons forever. I have to win this so I go back to Skyblock. Skip to round 60. Lots of farms, all about to be sold for damage. The strategy is basically the same, but this time even less diversity. Real work gets done by one group. Robots. Computers can type themselves now. Humans are obsolete. People are only useful for making funny block game videos. Remember, this is a Minecraft video. Here we go. Damn, that dies fast. I actually could get top 50 here. Lich. More like... You know, I can't think of anything that rhymes. Almost ready for the tier three boss. I have a genius idea. I'm buying an ice monkey to freeze the water so I have room for a helipad. Then I'm using that helicopter to carry a boat. Why? Because it's funny. And because the boat gives 10% increased sell price to all nearby towers. Except it isn't working. Wh why won't you pick it up? I tried seven times and nothing, so I'm gonna test on another map. I have a horrible feeling. Damn it! As you level up, you get monkey knowledge points. And I never bought the helicopter carrying point. And it doesn't count unless I restart. I'll still try to win without it. I can do this. I never give up. I lost. I went back to Skyblock. Someone recognized me. Dratoon? I heard Dratoon die. Drafoon got jealous and killed him. But he'll be reincarnated into a falcon. That will be on the test. I asked them if anything else interesting happened. 
happened. And they reminded me of the garden. They said cocoa beans were the best. Wait, I used to be top a thousand cocoa beans. I fought over those leaderboards. I fought over a lot of leaderboards. I fought over balloons. All my titles have the word beat. All I do is fight. I'm tired. I can't keep battling endlessly. It's what a loser would say. But I am only getting started. I compete to win. I will be the best at balloons and Skyblock. No one is competing as hard as me. No, I am the most subscribed Skyblock YouTuber. If you cherry pick. I'm going to beat you max level adult, or should I say min level adult. I have been the only Minecraft YouTuber for the past 57 years. Trust me. And we're off. Dragoon vs. Monkey. And I lost. I was only using one hand. Rematch. How did he go invisible? I'm leaving. I don't want to play anymore. I'm off to Vatican City. I've never won a PvP match in my life. Why did I propose this? Then Max had an amazing idea. Do you want to build a roller coaster? I'm an expert. I'm just constructing a jump. Boxing match. No swords. I can win this. I've never even played Minecraft. Why did I agree to this? Okay, this is the one. Why did he stop moving? Wait, no, no, that's not fair. Fish battle! I asked him to battle me in maths, but he refused, so I went by forfeit, right? Then I ran out of bounds and died. You don't understand. No! You just have some faith in me. You gotta trust. I will never have faith in you. I know parkour! I can't PvP in Minecraft, but I've been doing parkour since before I could walk in real life. I could beat him here. He's already in first place, ahead of everyone. Okay, he's not winning, but I'm three checkpoints behind. I have to make sure he knows I'm not even trying. I'm, I'm just chilling, but you do you. No, you're not. not try harding in the slightest. Checkpoint 10, 11, 12, I can do this. I'm only one behind and I'm putting in more effort in this than I did in architect school, which is why I'm a YouTuber now. I used the feather mid jump to skip it. I'm on checkpoint 13. I can see him. No, you're there. Please. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes. No. I was one ahead, then he caught up. And then the time ran out and we both lost on the same checkpoint. Just, I just want to see if it worked. Oh, look at that. A perfect jump. Oh my god. I'm an architect in real life. It's... I <laughs> call round two. Max fell, but had a pretty good excuse. My cat was trying to eat my leg. Oh, this jump is bullshit. Go on. Go do it. That's <laughs> what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> This time I was well out in front. Four checkpoints ahead. Two checkpoints ahead. Try for the longest skip in history. Please. Please. Yes. No! I skipped two checkpoints at once and it didn't count. And we both lost on the same checkpoint again. Another draw. So back to roll. Last time you've talked to a winner was in 1938. Okay, I, I have an architect in real life too if you never knew that. I've just realized I have TNT. Thank you for the you boost. You can't me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, round three, the final round. <laughs> we all failed. <laughs> After Max fell right in front of me, I skipped a section and got a lead. I got confident and watched his final attempt to catch up. You have eight seconds to catch me out. I'm, come on. No, oh God. Come on. No. Like, no. Uh, I win! But really, maybe what's important isn't fighting, or farming, or spacemen. Maybe it's having fun with friends. So look at us, being friends. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. No, <laughs> please! Why would 